Hey guys, how's it going? It's Christopher Paul here, your wedding photographer and videographer in South Wales, based just outside of Cardiff, and i got another episode of Behind the Lens with Christopher Paul. So, it's going to be a quick one today. I'm just uh, firing up the laptop, doing a quick uh, live video, because I want to get better at doing live videos, but um, I think the only way to get better at doing live videos is to do them. Um, it's pretty scary, though, because it's live, and you can't edit them and do stuff, but... Yeah, lots of uh, cool stuff going on this week. So mainly personal stuff, what I've been up to. I have been um, <clears throat> working pretty constantly, uh, editing, doing lots of stuff. Um, but then I'm keeping up my fitness with this Ironman Wales goal that I've got for next year for mental health. Um, I'm wake. I've got to stop saying um. I hate saying um. <laughs> I have been getting up super early pretty much most days, like 6 a.m., Watching the sunrise, taking the dog around the block, and then jumping in the pool to do my two-kilometer swim. I did my two-kilometer swim today, and I love it. I can't imagine life without swimming. So uh, if everyone is thinking about getting fit, maybe maybe you like to keep fit anyway, or maybe you're thinking about getting a bit more fit for your wedding, um, get swimming. Because in the winter, it's like miserable, it's wet, it's cold, it's horrible. Um, and it kind of puts you off going running and stuff, and... Riding the bike is a bit dangerous, actually, on the roads and stuff in the winter. But swimming's awesome for you. You know, it's like low... I can't remember what the physio people said when I hurt myself before, but they recommended I do uh, swimming. Like, if you've got, like, niggly injuries and stuff, um, it's meant to be a lot better for you and easier. So highly recommend it. Like, if you're thinking about getting fit or you're just in, in a bit of a slump and you're thinking, winter's coming... Uh, I could have come up with a clever reference to a Game of Thrones thing, but, but no... Um, winter is coming and people always get a bit down in the dumps and stuff with the weather and not exercising so join the pool it's awesome and the uh, Cardiff International Pool has a 50 meter lane so if you're doing some serious swimming like me trying to get ready for this Ironman Wales for mental health then a 50 meter lane is amazing because uh, you know it's less turns and you can just concentrate and get it done pretty stoked I did my two kilometer swim this morning um, it was a bit of a struggle at the end uh, but yeah, done it. So, moving on. Look at that effortless segue. So, moving on. Um, a lot of you know I've probably mentioned here on the video channel before and stuff, but I also shoot newborns, families, and pets. And I keep that on a different website. And I will jump over to that now. There's my YouTube channel. We. ChrisPaulPortraits.com. Um, go and check it out. I did run an offer last month, uh, a family of the month giveaway, and the winner was selected. Uh, Miss Bayon, Bayon. I'm dyslexic, forgive me, but Bayon, Bayon. Um, I always struggle saying that word. But yeah, really excited to get those guys in. Um, so I've been in touch with them. If you're watching, uh, we'll we'll figure out a couple of dates because the weather's obviously a bit nuts at the moment. But you know looking at October but yeah anyone else if you've got any uh newborn if you just had a little one and you want to celebrate make a big deal take some nice pictures then get in touch I always like to look after people um so if we if you're a if you're a client uh, I've shot your wedding or I've met you at a wedding just let me know and you know we can see what we can do some of my favorite pictures from this year yeah there's Poppy so yeah and pet photography. So last month I ran a little bit of a giveaway for Family of the Month. And this month, with all this amazing autumn weather and all the cool stuff going on that comes with autumn, all those nice colours, sunsets, etc. Um, I'm having a bit of a focus on pet photography this month. So if you've got a little doggo, um, or even a cat, haven't done a cat yet, be quite interested to try it. So if I know anyone and you would like... A nice portrait of your cat uh, and you don't mind getting a bit weird and trying some different stuff out let me know so that is pet photography I want to say a massive shout out um, for those you know I'm based in Barry just outside of Cardiff being a South Wales wedding photographer and videographer um, I like to keep up with what's going on and new shops and everything like that if you head over if you're in barry or you come to barry maybe you come in here on the weekend to have like an ice cream or go and feed the swans um or go to the fun fair on the rise and stuff plenty to do here in barry 
um, head over to this awesome little shop called Annie and Lolo. Um, they're based on High Street, and they've got like lo- I literally, I'm a guy, and I went in there and looked at all the pretty things and was like, amazing. So if I was like that, then, and you're into cute, like this is their Instagram, I'm just going to blast through some stuff. Got a really cute little shop with like awesome, awesome stuff. Forgive me, like I'm not the best at like using the proper words for stuff, but I get you know they got plant pods, frames, decoration stuff. Like it's really really cool, and it's nice to see some some people doing some uh, something really good and different, and you know pretty cool in Barry. So yeah, go and check them out. Uh, follow them on Instagram too. And on Facebook, and that is Annie and Lolo. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. In fact, I might try and I need to. I was going to change up the uh, the podcast studio that I do all the podcasts from and stuff here, so I might jazz it up a bit with some cool stuff from them. But uh, I got a card for uh, an ex client of mine, Chris and Nancy. Congratulations on your little little gift that arrived. Um, which is a newborn, in case that wasn't clear. Right, moving on to an effortless segue. Congratulations to everyone who um, who entered the Cardiff Half Marathon last week. I know lots of my previous clients did. Um, so, yeah, and I, it was a pretty busy one. Uh, I avoided Cardiff that day just because the traffic was mental and stuff. I think it was like 27,000 people entered. But congratulations to everyone that entered and did well and kind of get it i didn't do it myself now because i ran 20 kilometers um as part of my ironman training stuff like a couple of days before i wish i just left it and tried to sign up with a late entry or something for the cardiff half but you never know right what else am i going to talk about today so this weekend i have seen a pretty cool event on and it is at portland house which is a really really cool alternative um venue they shoot uh, you know they put weddings on there and here is nope 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 <laughs> uh here's the event page it's a prosecco festival now i know probably about 30 people that are obsessed with prosecco so i thought i'd probably give it a shout out on here um if you just type in prosecco festival cardiff it'll come up but it's in portland house which is an amazing venue anyway like i love the venue it's an old it's an old bank vault downstairs and they've got like really grand huge marble uh marble things um so if you're into prosecco it might be cool and if you're like engaged and you're like trying to look at a venue or get an idea for venues and you're in cardiff anyway why not just pop along because you can see the venue um obviously you'd be all decked out for a prosecco event but you know you can get get the idea i did have here we go so I shot a wedding there, not you know, uh, about a year or two ago, and it was awesome. So I'm just gonna try and blast through some pictures here, so you get a bit of an idea. Um, yeah, it's a massive grand hall with, and it looks really dramatic at night, and you can do wherever you want with it. I haven't actually got too many pictures of the venue. But I will dig some out and I'll put some on Instagram. So if you go and give me a follow on Instagram, uh, love underscore CPW, I'll make sure I put a couple up on the stories later. FYI. But yeah, go and check it out. And um, yeah, see, there's the pillars I'm talking about. It's huge. It was wicked. If I, I'd love to have got married there because you can do so much with it. So moving on, uh, how you have wrapped up a really nice wedding. And that was uh, Sean and Sarah's. I'm just going to blast through a couple of pictures here. Rose Dew Farm. It was my first wedding there. And they were amazing. They were really, like, the staff were friendly. Um, everything looked amazing. And I can't do two things at once. So I'm just going to scroll through and pick some pick some uh, awesome pictures of the venue and stuff. Like, the grounds is, is based on a real working farm. And... Oh no! It's based on a real working farm, and um, you know it's beautiful. You got all the 
uh, all the working farm in the background stuff, so it makes for really nice pictures. Um, and you can also do what you want with it, and it looks awesome at nighttime too. And the staff were amazing, the food was amazing. Basically, I've got nothing but amazing things to say about Rosedew Farm. So if you're engaged and you're looking for one of the one of the most popular venues in South Wales, so it might be tricky to get a date down, but not impossible. So it's always worth checking. Maybe go and check them out. So um, Rosedew, Rosedew Farmers Barns Weddings. But I had an awesome time. Thanks again, Sarah and Sean. That was awesome. And, yeah, I just wanted to wrap up with a bit of fitness stuff because a couple of months ago, um, a couple of months ago, I wasn't really doing much fitness stuff, and now I am, and I'm really, really, really feeling awesome from doing it. And I know people sort of exercise less in the winter. It's more of a summer thing. But um, if you... I, I mentioned earlier how good swimming is, and I, I can't think about not swimming. So first thing I do, wake up every morning, um, go for a really early swim and get going. But Cardiff International Pool, where I do most of my swimming, are running some free trials and stuff like that. Um, I think if you go on their Instagram, if you type in Cardiff International Pool and Gym, it'll come up, the pitch, the pictures, all the slides and stuff. Then uh, they're offering some free trials and stuff like that. And I think... I read a post this morning that said uh, you can bring a friend on a Friday. So if I've got any clients or people that want to try it out and you want to go or whatever, um, let me know and I can maybe give you that free pass for a Friday or something. But aside from that, I think you can just join it for a trial. But honestly, if you're in an iron and you want to get out there and get fit, like now's the time to do it because it makes you feel awesome. And, you know, winter's coming and everyone get a little bit down in the dumps with the weather and all that kind of stuff so you know beat it get out get moving get swimming so with that i'm gonna wrap up because i've got to go and walk the dog because we have to go and do stuff when becky finishes work we've got a big family weekend planned this weekend so everyone look after each other stay safe stay safe stay safe um yeah and get moving get fit and i'll see you next week Bye.